We thank the organizers for the opportunities to present the work on Parkinson's disease on behalf of our collaborators. The multicentric study was conducted under the aegis of Parkinson's Research Alliance of India and Medgenome Labs. This is one of the largest cross-sectional cohort from South Asia, consisting of 68 PD cases. The subjects were recruited from 10 to 15 speciality movement disorder centers and neurology clinics across India over a period of three years. The subjects were diagnosed to have developed Parkinson's disease with age of onset less than 50 years as per the modified UK brain bank criteria and were included in the study. Parkinson's disease is one of the most common neurodegenerative disorder that affects one to two percent of the population about 60 years of age. Genetically heterogeneous neurodegenerative diseases wherein both monogenic and risk variants have been reported in the study. Uh, the PD cohort were evaluated for genetic etiology for monogenic diseases using next generation sequencing and uh, were also evaluated for polygenic risk variants. The cohort consists of juvenile onset PD cases, 25, and early onset cases of 310, and young onset cases of 333. Consanguinity 13% was known, and uh, there were 15% of the cases with familial onset. The case uh, the cases were uh, characterized uh, for motor features, non-motor features, and uh, details about dyskinesia, including the average duration of symptoms and age of onset for this complete cohort. This declinically characterized cohort was further processed for next generation sequencing as first part as a pilot study for whole genome sequencing of 99 samples and whole exome sequencing of 596 samples and array for 616 samples. The next generation sequencing samples are primarily analyzed for monogenic cause of known, uh, of known causes of Parkinson's disease, both autosomal dominant, recessive, associated genes, uh, uh, disease pathways, and interacting partners in these genes. And the variants were classified as significance uh, based on ACMG criteria as pathogenic, likely pathogenic, and uncertain significance based on the available literature evidence. The, in the whole genome sequencing results, we were able to identify significant variants in approximately 8.8% of the cases. In whole exome, we were able to identify significant variants in 15% of the cases. And in a large proportion, we were able to identify variants of uncertain significance. And the subgroup, the diagnostic yield was the highest in the juvenile onset Parkinson's disease, which was as expected, 43%, young onset, approximately 11%, and early onset, approximately 4% of the cases. Of note, in the cohort, we were able to identify copy number variants in approximately 50% of them in either Parkin gene or the Park1 gene, which is much higher than that reported in literature. And approximately 10.7% of the cases had a significant variance in GBA conferring risk. For the polygenic risk score, uh, the uh, samples were analyzed uh, based on 1,363 controls and 616 cases. And uh, the raw PRS is generated by evaluating the effect weight of 1,805 markers uh, based on the European model uh, for GVAS from the International Parkinson's Disease Genetics Consortia. So the PRS is normalized based on the top five principal components based on the South Asian reference data set. The polygenic uh, risk group was uh, grouped into bins, uh, quantile one to five, and odds ratios were calculated for each of the bin, and the maximum odds ratio of 1.48 was observed. To summarize, uh, uh, the uh, polygenic risk score in the pilot study of whole genome sequencing was very similar to that of the array, as in the pathogenic variants are significantly lower PRS score. In other words, the undiagnosed group had significantly higher PRS group uh, compared to that of the controls. Uh, to summarize the study, significant variants were observed in 50%, 15% of the cases, uh, and approximately 50% of them were due to copy number variants in Parkinson mutation. And uh, PRS score were uh, observed in undiagnosed cases. However, further validation of this is required to establish its validity and utility in clinical setup. Thank you for your time.